need anybody else. <laughs> oh, wow. Man, hold it down. What? So, Liam and I are going to give you the behind the scenes scoop on Yuri. <laughs>
So you guys enjoyed your experience here today. I'm going to take that, I'm going to go on a little and kind of say that. Look for that YouTube. What did you like most about the con once you got here? Uh, steampunk. I learned about steampunk. So you're gonna like, you know, get some gear and start uh, showing start them, uh, show them the voiceovers that are in your steampunk gear and just like... Call, call of Duty, the Victorian era. <laughs> <Yes>! <laughs> See that steam? I'm gonna take it! <laughs> so how did you guys actually like whose line is in anime? Please don't kill me. I love you guys. <laughs> Cause you guys loved it though, didn't you? Is there going to be video of this somewhere? Please, please, please. And we were like, well, baby. Anybody notice how I kept hiding in the back of the lines? <laughs> I kept going to the back of the line. Tofu comes out, you have to talk to her. And he would just. Yours was a really, like, we did the Kermit one? That was funny. <laughs> See? Kermit one? See, he's already forgotten. The Kermit line, like, he was a soldier guy. Oh, that Kermit line. <laughs> he locked that away in his memories of things he doesn't want to readdress. <laughs> so how was it, Johnny? How did you like it? That was yes. <laughs> we thought we were all really funny. Hey, Bradley. I, uh, I was worried for Johnny's life. He was standing on the podium. I thought... That wasn't the wrong thing to do. I think it was just and then I was like, uh, uh, I saw Johnny's life flash before my eyes. <laughs> That would have been kind of cool, wouldn't it? Sexy. I died at Sacramento a second. Pretty sweet. Wow. I like how you're going back and forth and occasionally taking a drink of your Kool-Aid or whatever. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, what exactly are you doing? What the <laughs> he, is, he, is, he is the cameraman for the world's shakiest website. <laughs> Quick cam. <laughs> you know, the beauty of that thing is it makes all the people you film look like they're blinded. <laughs> it's Cloverfield and Sack Animated. It's the Cloverfield edition of Sack Animated Video. You know, uh, you know it's going to be like the Blair Witch Chronicles of you know, anime conventions. <laughs> shit you can, people screaming and running around in costume. It's pretty amazing. So, uh, Johnny, um, how did the band like you? I mean, they were awesome. The band I showed was awesome. Yeah. Yeah. We had fun. We even had fun in the power went out. Yeah. So you guys had an sort of an impromptu unplugged version of your concert last season. Yes, we did. You mean the actual <laughs> plug? Or the, the power went out? No, the power went out. It was just like, okay, so we're just going to do this acoustic. That was actually cool. That, that, that was, it was, that's what's supposed to happen, things like that. Johnny, I have a yes. question, I have a question for you. Okay. I heard a rumor that iShine is now going to paint their faces like Kiss. <laughs> you know what? Is that true? And that, which, and will you that was, the kitty? That was, uh, <laughs> that was correct. <laughs> and you guys will have to, uh, purchase our CDs to find out. <laughs> Within our lyrics, if you, you do that whole whatever that or the code thing, you break the code, you can figure it's it all out. Like, it's like the Da Vinci Code, but yeah, exactly. I but for iShine, the thing is, is you have to buy every single one of our CDs to figure it out. <laughs> <laughs> I'm gonna go to all of them. And by the way, <laughs> CDs. I'm gonna them. offer iShine CDs for one dollar. <laughs> If you already have one, you can give us an extra dollar, okay? <laughs> we'll work it out. Man. So what did you guys actually learn from this convention? Because we usually always ask the fans what they get out of it. What did you guys get out of it? Johnny can dance a... <laughs> Johnny can dance a pretty mean Irish jig at it. <laughs> Jim Denny's is awesome, even if you have to wait a long time for your food. <laughs> and, uh, uh, and the, the Sacramento has a dessert-only restaurant diner. <laughs>
place. Rick's, Rick's dessert <laughs> diner. That was amazing. Thank you very much. Thank you very much. I'm sure it was a big treat. It's awesome uh, sushi. Vova. Vova. I almost called our Twitter account Vova. 
up, but then I decided that was too dirty, so I called it Geo Voice Actor. <laughs> Not as dirty. So one thing you guys have learned about voice actors is that um, we are very disgusting. <laughs> We also found out that, you know, the voice actors are very, very sensitive people. Yeah. They really, really are. Really. Very sensitive people. I mean, especially you when, 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 you know, they, they stop to have a conversation and, you know, he, he has his dark side kind of tell him. See, now you're just going to press everybody. Yeah, I mean, I mean, but look, they're sensitive people and you kind of have to really understand, you know, what goes on in their mind. You know, I mean, for me, I kind of dub over what I see through the glass, you know, while they're having conversations that I can't hear. But, you know, well, you know, some people, they, they think the opposite. They think the worst possible thing. Um, you know, so, you know, I just thought that that would be, you know, something that would just kind of go out there for you. You know, make you revisit your dark side. Thank you, James. Thank you, James. I got that. <laughs> if you talk to Liam for more than, like, five minutes, it's, it's as dark as apocalypse now. <laughs> Journey into madness. Like, I like walks on the beach. <laughs> puppy dogs. I once held a man in a scissor hole. <laughs> 24 hours. I could do that. <laughs> to you. you. <laughs> Again. <laughs> so now, taking it to our lovely audience. What's up? What kind of question you got for us, man? What's up? Oh, what's up? Toys. Do you guys want to be organized and make a lot of toys? Oh, no, that's uh, he man, by the way. Oh, uh. Sword of Omens, give him Mike Beyond Mike. Mike Beyond Mike. Oh, yeah. Um, so, what's your name? Oh, I'm Sean. Uh, Sean X Long from uh, YouTube. If you want to check out. Hey, Hi, Sean. Everyone, everyone asks a question. Tell us your name, where yeah. you're from, oh. and your Twitter. And your social security number. <laughs> uh, I mean, anyway. Uh, no, I, I'm from uh, locally from here. So yeah, Sacra Sacramento represent. But uh, uh, my question for you guys. <laughs> Uh, I love toys, obviously. Um, do you guys own any toys of characters you voice? And if you don't have, <laughs> is there any uh, toys you wish to make of the character that you voice? I enjoy getting toys as gifts from fans at conventions. Give <laughs> uh, <laughs> him something cash. Just, just <laughs> throw it out there. But he likes cash better. <laughs> uh, I, have, uh, I have a lot of Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles stuff. Uh, which weirdly, weirdly I sign for myself. <laughs> which makes it collectible. And then he sells, he sells them to himself on eBay. He always wins. I drive a hard bargain. <laughs> oh, I sniped myself right in the air. I have a lot of toys. I have toys of stuff that I've been in and toys of stuff that I haven't been in. Um, the only toy that I wish that they made that never got made was when I was doing Legion of Superheroes because uh, oh, yeah. Mattel and uh, Warner Brothers didn't talk to each other well enough. They never made Legion of Superheroes. I, I, hear, they're they're, the, I hear they're prototypes. Right. Um, but uh, they're coming if anybody out can with track down any Legion of Superheroes prototypes, I would pay top dollar. <laughs> that, I'd be like $7. <laughs> Yuri has an office that he calls the Man Cave, which is every 15-year-old boy's wet dream. <laughs> And robots and samurai and awesome movies, <coughs> game stuff. Yeah, it's, it's my it's my office where I do my work. <laughs> I just have the inside of my recording booth at home, which is just a closet. I have guards, Naruto stuff. <laughs> in there, but it's just this tiny little place just for me where I can pretend like I'm 15. <laughs> and think about Gary's man cave. <laughs> what about you, Johnny and James? Yeah, I do. I have, uh, I have a few things, but not, not that many. Usually just stuff that I've always given me. I don't actually go out by it. <laughs> I, 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 I like your shirt. <laughs> Yes. 
right there. So, where, where? Lady in the third row. Lady in the third row. Wow. Oh, 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 oh. Yes, you. So, so she's going to type it out on her phone for me. No, I got my head back. Alright. <laughs> um, what's the weirdest or funniest line you've ever had to say? In, in Kill Kramal, for no apparent reason, um, Yuri, being me and the character in this case, uh, at one point says, Conrad, your hair smells terrific. <laughs> To this day, I don't. I, I can't explain that show. <laughs> as much as I love that show, I can't explain it. That that show was nonsense. It was. Uh, it was fun though. Beautiful, beautiful nonsense. It was beautiful nonsense, which is what my autobiography is going to be called. <laughs> beautiful nonsense, the San Diego story. For a dollar man too. <laughs> Somewhere in, in the Hare and Goo anime, uh, where I voiced Dr. Clive, yeah, that was pretty up to too. Uh, Clive gets all floppy at one point and says, Those who lick my porn will someday die by porn! Is this really truer than you think? I'll put it to the test. Why do you I will let you know. Because I am pretty. <laughs> Probably Ava and Monster, because she was drunk the entire time. <laughs> <laughs> Any other questions? Pixel, Rob, you work. Come on. Okay, I'm walking. Pissed off with this guy. Hey, who's more emo, Sasuke or Gara? <laughs>
that thing, you know. Um, oh, you know, by, the, by the way, you know, I mean, at the temples, you know, it's eat more chicken or else. <laughs> <laughs> Next question. Wow. To the back, Black Ranger. <laughs> it's hero time. It is. So gonna text Walsh or something. It is. It is the young lady back here. Oh, awesome. What did she say? Thank you. Yeah, I would like to know if any of you have uh, ever made audio books. Audio books? Yes, especially the voiceover. <laughs> yeah, I think that uh, some of us up here have made audio books. In fact, I got my start making English as a second language learning tapes. <laughs> so, oh dear. so if you came from China, <laughs> and don't know how to speak English, I'm the, guy, I'm the guy who said, the ball is red. <laughs> I'm glad they can all ask for red balls now. <laughs> What's that? <laughs> Blue balls. <laughs> How about you guys? Any audio books? And we did, yes. uh, Tara and I did uh, some old uh, science fiction, uh, pulpy science fiction audio books. Are you going to do an audio book version of Vova? Only if everybody who wrote an anecdote inside of it does their own Theo which is why it's been difficult to be hard to get all those people to do it. Just get sound links. <laughs> <laughs> so you can match it. Yeah. Excellent. Sam, and then we have a couple of them. Very nice. Who else? Who else? Questions? Wow. All those hands going up. Look at that. That guy's saying a sword. I think I'm going to go over there and find one we could. And maybe if you've got a strong voice, you can yell it out. You don't have to wait for the mic. Yeah. I just don't want to get cut, that's all. Make it work, Yeah. There you go. Have any of you watched the Him Daisy Fan comic videos? Which videos? Oh, oh, the the Him Daisy Fan... The Fan video comic strips. Ham video comic strips? Ham video comic strips? Ham video comic There are... There are ham videos. There are videos out there of ham porn. <laughs> I don't know what that means. Yes, I watch those all the time. <laughs> they are salty. <laughs> salty, you say? I'm sorry, I don't know what a temptation salty. to deal with. I don't think we have The answer is no. Thank you. Thank you. I thought you were going to ask a math question. They were just like, oh, go for it. I have a, re a question and request from Johnny. Uh, we went to your show last night, it was great, but as a musician, what, what uh, other bands inspired you to make Eye Shine? And our request is if you could do uh, Ash's Laugh. <laughs> um, okay. Uh, well, I don't know. Uh, I would keep, there's a lot, a lot of bands that inspire me. Um, uh, a lot of musicians, Beatles, uh, Pink Floyd, Led Zeppelin. Yeah. Uh, I listen, to, I listen to basically everything, but I don't, don't really listen to country that much. Uh, it's, not, well, uh, it's not that I hate it, it's just I don't, I can't really get into it so much, you know, especially if you're singing about a tractor or something. Okay, <laughs> hey, I love my tractor. <laughs> it works for some people. Um, and that's just that. Totally different than what you're seeing. Um, 
You mean like the big biker dude with the mutton chops and the yeah, giant my biker mustache? And I came in and he opened his mouth and said, Hey there, would you like to buy some power cells right this way? <laughs> <laughs> they give me a heads up, I'm bringing down here. But it was fun, though. It was fun in the room. Um, I we believe had a, we, had a good, we had a good time. Sam was the director. I, I, it's I directed it. So I believe Sam directed it. Was, uh, it, was, it was definitely fun. Uh, just because these guys are amazingly awesome actors, as you already know. And uh, there were a lot of words, and so it was tough. <laughs> yeah, there was 55,000 lines didn't, of dialogue. It was a lot. 55,000 lines of dialogue. I did not get to meet Danny Trejo, if that's what you're asking. Um, but I... But you are the reason Will Wheaton is in the game. But I'm the reason Will Wheaton is in the game. Uh, because I have pictures of him doing something awful to no. him. <laughs> Yuri and Will Wheaton have but a very we, heavy bromance. <laughs> heavy. And, um, but we did get to go to the, uh, the, the oh, yeah. Fallout New Vegas uh, rap party in, in Vegas. Las Vegas, yeah. And uh, there's a picture of us, I believe, with an old, uh, old Vegas man. Yeah, it's us and uh, Mel Torme. <laughs> no, no. Mel, no, it was Mel. No, no, it was Wayne. It was Wayne Newton. Wayne Newton. Wayne Newton. It was a picture of the three of us, of Liam and Sam and I, and Tara, huddled around, and, and, and Tara and huddled around Wayne Newton. Oh, Are you not she in took some pictures. Picture, picture. And a dinosaur. And a dinosaur, and we're not sure which one is which. Oh! <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I can't get that. It was, it was fun. To answer your question, it was fun. We have some things. Angry Burgers. Rob, get the Angry Burgers. Angry Burgers, okay. Call it out. She's projecting. Go for it. Yeah! This is a voice acting panel, and she's projecting. Okay.
weapons that can just gently injure you. <laughs> Plus, you can use it as a full vault. <laughs> Sort of 
you can't really bleep out the bad words, but they were trying to, you know, dub things in. Um, they couldn't get Jay Cho, who did uh, Kato, they couldn't get him to come back from Taiwan because he's this huge pop star. And, and he doesn't he, speak English. And he doesn't speak English. Um, and so, uh, to, to get him to come back, to, you know, to record like 12 lines of dialogue, um, is just, I mean, the cost would have been huge and he probably would have said no anyway. So they had to cast somebody who sounds like, you know, a voice sounded like for Jay Cho. So I showed up for, for that audition and it was me and nine Chinese guys. <laughs> and, um, and I had to stand in a room and, and audition along with these, these other guys. And there's no way you can do that and not sound like the biggest racist asshole. <laughs> So I was, I was so nervous and my heart was, was pounding because I was, just, I was the Jewish guy, you know, and everyone was not Chinese guy. And, um, and so I, I, I went up and, and did it and just figured, you know, I should just leave now. And, um, and then it's, it's one of those brutal auditions where they send everybody outside and then they pick, you know, the producers talk and they pick somebody and then they send everybody in home but one person. And so we were all standing outside and they were all talking to each other and I was just sort of standing on the other side. And uh, it takes a long time and the producer finally comes out and he's got this white look on his face and he says, uh, I'm sorry guys, uh, it's the white guy. <laughs> and I, and I was like, no man, you can't do this to me because as soon as this job's over, I'm going to go back to the parking lot and they're going to be waiting for me. <laughs> uh, yeah, that was, it's, it's, a weird, it's a weird business for you. <laughs> What's your favorite adjective? What's your favorite adjective? Super. What's an adjective? Spelling. Outstanding. Is that an adjective? Viscous. Viscous. I'm gonna go with purple. Her <laughs> <laughs> uh, okay, 
question for all of you. What is the weirdest thing or craziest thing a fan has done to you or for you? <laughs> today? Today was pretty weird. Today, today we signed, we all signed, autographed a, a red vine piece of licorice. <laughs> I don't, I hope he didn't eat it. Because it's pretty... Poisonous? Pretty valuable. It's pretty valuable. <laughs> Plus, if we signed it and you ate it, it's like you ate a piece of our soul. <laughs> I did a, uh, I was doing one of these events down south. A guy walks up to me, big old redneck fellow, is, I love you in this game. You signed this. He has nothing to sign. He hands me his kid. <laughs> oh. You sound my kid? <laughs> he used the diaper, and the damn diaper was dirty. So I'm like, yeah, and then he asked me to sign his beer cans. I, I got a picture of this guy. It's up on my website. It's the best thing in the world. <laughs> Dirty diaper. Yes. Beat that shot, man. Most of the Don't beat that shot. Don't beat that Dirty underwear. Try that one. Okay, you're right here in the middle. As soon as I can get through. Um, I don't want to body slip to her. Not everybody. I have a question and a request for Yuri. Um, I hope this isn't just another one of my blonde moments, but... Um, I think you're a brunette, I'm not sure. <laughs> <laughs> the question is, did you enjoy working for Level 5? And the, um, the request is to uh, say Clive's line, it won't end this way. It won't end this way. <laughs> uh, and, uh, is Level 5 a company? <laughs> What did Level 5 do? We love them. I don't, because I don't always know the company's name. The, the they did professional ladies. What are they? Oh, they did, they did professional ladies. Okay, professional because, because from, from our perspective, you know, Level 5 was doing the, the game, but then we do the recording, you know, at a studio in LA, and I don't always know the, the company. Um, I don't always get to meet, you know, like the, the creators of the game and things like that. Rarely does that ever happen uh, for us. Um, usually we meet, the, you know, the director and sometimes the producers there. Um, so, so yeah, it was great working for them in that, in that I got to be a part of, you know, such an excellent game. So, yeah. Uh, there is a, uh, over the recent years there's been a lot of remakes of classic cartoons. I was wondering if there's any cartoons that you'd, uh, be interested in seeing remade so you could work on it. The Herculoids. <laughs> Johnny Quest. <laughs> Oh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> they are in it. And a quick follow up question for Johnny, since you're probably the only guest who could get away with this. Have you ever used the line, once you go black, you can never go back? Oh. <laughs> uh, I have. <laughs> and she said yes, and they're married today. <laughs> work it out because they were currently recording Naruto, but they were very close, uh, closed on the set. They didn't want us there while they were actually recording, but they wanted us to get there as soon as they finished recording. We just couldn't work it out because we were actually there shooting a movie and we just couldn't make the timing work out. So we were in, um, sort of, we, we were in touch, to and in yeah. touch with them, but it just didn't work for us to meet them. But they were open to it, they just... Yeah, they were actually sort of excited about it. Um, and I had a near miss just like that. A near miss. I went over for voiceover work and just, they were actually black. They weren't recording the week I was there. Yeah, yeah it's, it's, it's a bit timing, you know. Yeah. I did meet the real Donatello from, <laughs> <laughs> from the Renaissance period. Oh, was he nice to you? He was sort of a dick. Oh! <laughs> 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 did you meet him? Uh, uh, no, I haven't. 
Forty Feldman. Was the guy in the rubber suit, right? Yeah. yeah. Was that Corey Feldman? Corey Feldman. In the suit was David Wald, actually. Oh. I know him, David Wald. Oh, cool. David so you did Wall Street? Yeah. And was he kind of a dick? No. <laughs> <laughs> He's a good director. <laughs> I met Naito, creator of uh, Trigun, and I met uh, Ichigo's voice. And, uh, actually, I met. Uh, Actually, that, that's thank you for, I, I met Bob Ogazaki, who uh, created Afro Samurai. Um, he's one of our buddies, actually. Uh, he's, he's super cool. Okay, next question. Oh, wait, a one. Hey, do any of you guys watch uh, My Little Pony? <laughs> I'm more of a general holograms fan. I love Jim. The uh, I do love the hub. <laughs> <laughs> Pink buddy. I like that. Yay! Frazzle Rock. Like the pink buddy. <laughs> yeah, I'm a Frazzle Rock. Yeah, I'm a Frazzle Rock. Okay, so who is better? Isaiah Onihara or Shizuo Hirojima? <laughs> Isaiah. <laughs> Around the right answer. <laughs> and I thought they were gonna have some fun today. <laughs> Smile. When you guys read mangas, do you guys voice over them in your head? <laughs> <laughs> when you do what? When you read manga, do you voice them over in your head as you read? Well, I think people naturally, when they read, they sort of hear the characters' voices, right? Yeah. So you yeah. kind of can't help doing it in your own head when you're reading. Yep. It's your own voice. It's weird. Sort of. when, I, when I read, everything sounds like Johnny Bob. <laughs> <laughs> I always hear James Earl Jones. <laughs> I actually have a question for you guys, because um, there was, was a fan that I asked after who was mine yesterday. What has it been like for us first and who have directed working with a very bad voice actor? And have you had that experience? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> All the time. Yeah, a I'm lot. right here. <laughs> <laughs> There's a reason why, you know, some people say like, why is this guy in so many things? There's a reason why people who are good, you know, work a lot. Because they're, they're fast, they're quick, they just get it. Um, but you're not always in control of who gets cast. And sometimes you end up with someone who's inexperienced or you don't know what, and hopefully you don't have a direct glass window between them so that you can go, mm -hmm. <laughs> um, And it just takes more tries at it, and you try to help them and coax them and give them tips without sounding like you're, you know, micromanaging within an inch of their life. And sometimes you smack your face a lot. Sometimes you have to fire people. Sometimes you have to fire people. It's, it's, uh, it's, it is, uh, it's a business, and so... Uh, it's, it's like, it's hard. <laughs> it's hard. That, that said, uh, uh, hands raised, how many, how many people have knowingly been fired? I've been fired. Oh. 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 We've all oh. lost jobs. Life, man. And sometimes it's just because, you know, they, they, they hear something they like and they, they cast you and they realize it just doesn't work. Or, I mean, you know, or they see what you look like. That happened to me once. I booked a job and uh, I used a very deep voice. And they're like, oh, I think we're a lot older. I was like, yeah, that's cool, whatever. I started recording and literally the client couldn't get through their head that I was doing the voice. And they're like, I'm sorry, we need to get somebody old to do this. Aww. It made me leave. Yeah. I've been replaced four or five times. I've replaced other people on projects. It's just the nature of the business. Sometimes they're not the right fit. Sometimes there's politics involved. Sometimes you, you, know, you might not ever know why. Sometimes there's really thick sexual tension. <laughs> and sometimes you just suck. <laughs> Keep it right. Um, we did have a question for Liam and Yuri when we came by and uh, spoke to Liam earlier. You were explaining the plot of the game, Catherine. We're trying to. Uh, there's no plot to that. Is it? <laughs> How do you describe it to other people with a straight face? 
<laughs> and then we were hoping that Johnny would indulge us and pretend to summon Mara for us. Uh -huh. Oh. John Secretary add on with you. Okay. <laughs> uh, I'd seen a trailer for the game like a month before I knew I was in it, and uh, I like sexual things. <laughs> but as far as what the game's about, I mean, like, we often don't know what these things are. I'll get a call and say, you've been cast. It's called this. Show up. And then you get there, and they explain it as you go. I was generally for it, because we spent a lot of time going, drag out, or prison blast. So it was nice to talk about boots and <laughs> marriage and beer and stuff. It was out of the ordinary for us. It's nice to be raunchy occasionally. Yeah, but I still don't understand. We, we, you know, we see bits and pieces of the game depending on how involved we are. And, uh, you know, most of the shows and most of the things that I work on, um, even by the end of it, often I still don't know what the story is or what's, what's going on. You have to sort of trust your director to manage those moments and give you context for the moments. So, wow. Ask play. <laughs> Second. It says ask play. Second, okay. best stage pass. Only valid for ask play. <laughs> <laughs> oh, anime superstars. That You're going to put us on black. <laughs> Get that damn thing off the stage. <laughs> <laughs> who is, who Who's is, like, uh, I'm sorry, I've had a long time. <laughs> Uh, who is at Sean X Long? That's me. That's you. Woo! You just live tweeted this. Oh yes. <laughs> Whoa! Woo! You just live tweeted. Yeah. That's how you like that. And I'm gonna live tweet back about his live tweet. Thank you. <laughs> and then the internet will implode. Woo! <laughs> Sam is at Sam Ringel on uh, Liam is voice of O'Brien. <laughs> Yuri is at Yuri Lowenthal. I'm at Tara Platter. You're Sound Frank Woods. There you go. And Johnny and Bosch. Boom. <laughs> Tweet it live. Woo! <laughs> Tweet it live. That was awesome. Got another in the back. I won't know you. Alright, I got a question for Liam, Sam, Yuri, and Johnny, but really quickly just for so I don't think myself sound like an idiot. Sam, did you direct the voice acting on the Da Hack GU series? I, uh, yes, I directed uh, dot .hack slash point point dot slash point gu uh, underscore hack. <laughs> okay, so this question is actually dot, more for... Dot org. <laughs> this is more for, uh, I guess, for Liam, Yuri, and Johnny, and then how'd you like being directed by Sam? It was cool. Also, um, also... <laughs> Guys, review my directing skills. <laughs> Don't worry, I will listen. <laughs> it was, it was adequate. It was adequate. Okay. Great thing, Justin. Ever. Thank you very much. Ever. A little lower than a bunch of us. everybody. Great thing, Justin. Ever. Seriously though, he, he is good though, he's good. He keeps it, keeps it fun. He did. For the, first, for, the first few shows, for the first few sessions, I thought you were Mary Elizabeth McGlynn. Sorry. <laughs> she has a much deeper voice than that. <laughs> Next question. I'm curious, are, you, are any of you guys married? Yes. Yes. So to each other or married. just in general? <laughs> Up. <laughs> yeah, when I ever split up, I get half of his soul. <laughs> I can speak to all of those. James Beer? Well, there you go. And James Beer. Yeah. 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 Ladies, yeah. singles. If you, like, if you like someone who kills, <laughs> the rest of us are married. Happily. Off the market! <laughs> okay, we got time for one more. Yeah. One more? Last one. Okay, you know what? What? I'm tired of walking around. Okay. You stand up, since you're the guy who coordinated all these wonderful people to be here, you pick. Oh, don't do that to me. I'm gonna do that to you. I'm gonna do that to you. I'm gonna do that to you. You pick. Now everybody. Shout them out all at once. <laughs> but it 
cannot be a request for a line, so I have to use it now. What if we want you to fart? So it's a question. An actual question. One real question. Oh, I'll just go down on myself then. Ah, I can go see. Stay here. Start waving cash, baby. Oh, right here. Oh, there. I saw purple. <laughs> there. Oh. Um, this is a question for Liam. Out of the two. It's not easy to talk with that thing in your face, we know. <laughs> that, that weird is it a blind moment? Oh. <laughs> 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 blue hair moment. Oh. No pressure. I Oh, uh, good or bad, Dara? Bad. Yeah. That was so short. So we got a question for the group? Okay, group question. A question for the group. <laughs> I use a uh, lot of tools. Oh, go ahead, John. Sorry. No, no, no. no. <laughs> uh, I use these pro tools all the time, but I actually use GarageBand most of the time. <laughs> I, I booked lots of work from that setup. I use Logic, which is kind of like GarageBand. <laughs> Just has a few more things. I record it to Microsoft Word. <laughs> <laughs> it looks like you're starting to write a letter. Can I help? <laughs> well, ladies and gentlemen, um, we're going to allow these lovely voice actors to give their thank yous and goodbyes. And I hope you guys have